Copilot is amazing, and there are several ways that we can use Copilot in Visual Studio 2022. Let's start with a friendly reminder that you don't let Copilot fly the plane. Copilot is a guide, it's not going to replace you. It's like having an amazing Copilot in your cockpit, but it's a tool to be with you. It's going to suggest code snippets, complete your sentences, predict your code in a great way, but it's not a substitute for your own coding skills. Copilot doesn't always produce flawless code. Sometimes it's like you're super enthusiastic about some code that your friend suggested, but you need to take a double check. You need to review and test the code it generates. And you need to be sure that it aligns with your requirements and standards. Resist the temptation to let Copilot write tons of code. Copilot is not a magical code generating unicorn. It's not going to validate your code's correctness. Instead, Think of Copilot of your coding GPS. It's going to help you go in the right direction. It's going to help you go where you need to go. But you are still the driver. You're still the one who is going this. Write your code alongside with Copilot and check every step with them. Always, always review what Copilot generates. Imagine Copilot as your diligent intern. <laughs> it's going to work with you. It's eager to help, but it's not a super start. Review the code snippets that it generates. Stuff like it is secure, it is efficient, it is elegant. If not, tweak it and adapt it to your own needs. You are the developer. You have the responsibility to do this. You are still the captain here. You need to also learn how to use Copilot in an effective way. And this is the moment as a developer that we need to choose the right tool for the right problem. You probably know this, we do this every day. The two communication channels that we have with Copilot are Ghost and Chat. Ghost is those great text that you see when you are typing or you are coding, which is an amazing way to get real-time insights about what you are typing and how Copilot is helping you. On the other side, we have Inline Chat, which is more conversational, more interactive, is ready to collaborate. In the personal side, I like to open the inline chat and ask for new code, ask for new stuff. There is a third way here in Visual Studio, which is the side panel chat. I focus this mostly on insights and learning. I ask general questions there. I open the chat and I start to ask, okay, let me know about this or that, about the solution. So it's a great way. And let's show a couple of ways that we can basically get insights and get the best with Copilot. This project is, a, is part of a solution where we have a set of libraries and a set of other projects that are interacting with large language models running locally. There is a custom chat completion service, it's using semantic kernel. So I am going to ask here, basically, to create a new chat completion service with a specific URL. In the ghost mode, Copilot is going to start to suggest code, so it's going to create a new Olama chat. Let's stop this. I also know the URL, so it's going to give me the URL here, it's a property here, and I know that I am using the Llama 2 model, so we have everything there. So, hey, ghost mode, kind of interactive, tab, 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 and we have the code. But I know that the implementation of this using semantic kernel is a little more tricky. So what I can ask now, I can ask the inline chat and say, reference another part of the project and get insights for that part. Once I ask the command to use another one, it's going to suggest me code based on other piece of code that I have in the, in the program. And hey, I'm going to check my usings here, which I like it. I am going to check also other parts of the code. And I even have the full suggestion how I can create the builder to create the kernel builder. It will add the chat. We are working with chat. And hey, we have the build here, which is kind of amazing. If I do this, literally, I have here everything that I need. And as I said, there is a third way to do this, which basically said, OK, Copilot chat. I can ask questions, general questions in Copilot chat about stuff like, in example, how many times we are using the custom chat completion service, show me ways to do this, which are the reference in the project, different tools for different scenarios for different, pro for different problems that you can solve using GitHub Copilot in Visual Studio 2022. We know that chatting using natural language is a great experience. And hey, Copilot is like having this chatty friend that is help you coding more and more. It's an amazing one. But here is the thing. This chat may lead to a whole conversation with Copilot. And there are times that you can avoid some time there. You can save time and use kind of shortcuts and you don't need to reinvent prompts working with Copilot. Instead, use slash command prompts. 
These are like little magic spells that is going to help you in very specific scenarios. Let's see how this works in Visual Studio. So I have a class here, and this class has a couple of mistakes here. So I can select the code here, open copilot, and I can do something like fix the code, please. It's going to analyze the code, it's going to, there are minor mistakes here, but it's going to say, hey, you know what? Completion, a typo there, the chat, the, the, the model is different, is bigger. I can do some things here and that's fine, but I can also do something even much faster, which is select the code again, open in line and use the slash, slash command, which is going to do fix. When I do fix, it's literally saving me some time and I'm going to have the same experience here. And once I accept, I am going to have the code fixing and ready to use. Another one that I can use and I really, really like is I have here in this code, I have a very little piece of code with a four. For int, zero, to count, it's a big one. I'm not a fan to do these kind of things, so I can say, okay, you know what? Let's use another one to optimize the code. So I have here my optimize and the optimize is going to suggest the code. I have here the little changes with the chance request, the for each. I think it's more readable the for each, but I want to see how this is going to work. So I'm going to open the preview window here and I'm going to have everything that I have here. So I have my preview when I have the latest code, what I am going to change, and there it is. I have my new code and I have to clean a little. Remember what we talk. It's not just blindly trust, trust Copilot, it's using Copilot to get the best. So learning this slash command not reinventing prompt is going to save you a lot of times and you're going to get faster to the code that you want and need. And now let's talk a little about context and how the context really, really defines how Copilot is going to help us while we are coding. There are several ways that we can define Copilot to oh, work with this piece of code, with this solution, this file or more. So let's take a look how we are going to do this. An example, I have here a very simple web API, a minimal API application in C Sharp, and I can start here the inline chat, and I'm going to use the explain slash command. This is super useful. And we see here that the explain is going to talk about the selected code, but because I haven't selected any piece of code, it's going to describe everything that's happening in this file. It's going to talk about the builder, the swagger, the endpoints, and more. If I want to go to and explain a specific piece of code, I can select these three lines, the one that I want to do, and then start again the same slash command. Let's do explain. Now, Copilot is going to analyze that code and is going to explain to me that, hey, that code is responsible for the configuration about the Swagger and Open API and do more here, which is super important because we are basically telling Copilot, focus on that element there. Another topic that we need to be aware of is that when we are working with Copilot chat in the panel, we have the chance to create threads. And when we start to talk with them a lot, we are going to see that sometime Copilot gets stuck, Copilot doesn't answer the question correctly. So that's maybe the time to use this feature and basically clean the Copilot history. By the way, you can sort here your conversations and group them via threads, which is super, super important. If we go back to the context, we can ask again to explain that piece of code from chat using one more time the slash command explain and then use hashtag and we are going to search for my file with program and this is what we have here. We have the programs file available and then we have here program lines 8 to 10, which is the selection that I have. So I'm going to ask to explain these lines and we are going to see that, hey, that lines have here the specific configuration for Open API and Swagger and it's going to do everything there. So it's super important to know when we are doing this, the selection of code and we can use this in line, we can use this on the chat and more. Also, here I have a couple of reference. If I click here on reference, we can see that, hey, this is the file that's have been used here. C programs, Copilot, and the full link to my file here. I have also a couple of suggestions regarding to the topic. It's always super useful to understand the reference and to double check the user's reference to see if this is the right amount, we are using this code, a couple of other files and more. Remember that we are talking and we are asking Copilot to basically explain a little piece of code, but I can go big here in Copilot and ask Copilot to explain a file or even explain the full solution. So I'm going to do explain, hashtag solution. And when I do this, 
I will have the chance to ask Copilot to explain solutions. And for me, an example, in C Sharp, working in .NET, in Visual Studio 2022, this is super useful when I want to see, hey, which reference are used here and there, which is the general NuGet package that we have in the whole solution. We can ask so many things. So double checking the reference, referring to selected code files or more, it's an amazing, an amazing way to use Copilot in the, in the right way. And also remember, it's all about the context. And the last piece of advice here is that we have memory, we have history here. I can start to press up the arrow ups and down, and I will going to see how my history of commands are available here in the chat, which is super useful when you want to do maybe the same prompt again and again when you are interacting here. So context is super important in Copilot, working with Visual Studio 2022. Take a look, select your code, select the file the, or the whole solution, and Copilot is going to help you a lot. Copilot is always learning from your feedback and writings. You can use the thumbs up or thumbs down buttons to rate a suggestion and the feedback button to report any issues or suggestion. This is really going to help Copilot to improve over time and provide with better code suggestion in the future. If you want to know more, let's take a look how we can do this. I have a sample controller here, sp.net MVC controller, and I am going to clean. I'm going to start a new thread here and I'm going to ask Copilot chat to generate a new test for this solution. So I'm going to select my controller and it's going to generate a test. The test is generated. I know that it's going to use mock and XUnit libraries to do this. I have an amazing test here and a couple of things here that I have. I have the chance to copy the file, copy the code, insert this in a new file, preview the code there, and I have here the chances to also do my thumbs ups and thumbs down. I really like this one. I am going to insert this in new file. So I have my test controller. Let's save this. There it is, it's part of my project. And now I said, okay, I'm happy with this. So I have here my thumbs up. I really like it. Giving feedback to the Copilot team, giving feedback to the whole Copilot ecosystem is a great way to help Copilot become better and better over time. Thanks for watching this video on what not to do with Copilot. I hope you found it useful. And don't forget to watch our other Copilot's video. Happy smart coding!